Hi, I'm Martin, and today I'd like to talk about the time constant in piezoelectric measurements. What the? When we measure with piezoelectric sensors, we need a so-called charge amplifier to convert the charge signal into a proportional voltage. When we measure very slow signals, we use a quasi-static design or measuring mode long. True static measurements are not possible, but when we open the reset switch, we set the zero point of the measurement and we start measuring with this reference. Usually you want to make sure that there is no load on the sensor when you start the measurement, unless you want to measure a signal content on top of a certain static load. But when and why do I use a time constant now and what is it? Not again. Basically it's the same charge amplifier principle as before, but in parallel to the range capacitor, which acts as a storage element for the charge, there's a resistor, the so-called time constant resistor. In combination with the range capacitance, a time constant value results. When we apply a quasi-static signal, slow signal like a step to the circuit, the constant value fades away as an exponential function of the time constant. The range capacitor is discharged over the resistor. After the time constant value, we only have 37% of the original signal left. After about five times the time constant, DC content is almost filtered away completely. So what we actually created is a first order high pass filter characteristic. On some amplifiers, such a time constant can be switched on. The mode is then called short or medium, depending on the actual value. When we have a continuous signal with some DC content, it will be filtered away over time and after five times the time constant value, we have the pure dynamic signal content left. This allows us to measure pulsation or vibration signals for an unlimited time. The signal will never drift away, even after months. A totally drift-free measurement sounds very attractive. So would it also be possible to measure occasional pulses or signal sequences with a time constant? Then I wouldn't need to start the measurement with the reset measure switch and could continuously measure. How long can such a sequence or pulse be compared to the time constant value? What you need to define is the signal loss you can accept caused by the time constant. The worst case signal would be a totally rectangular pulse. After reaching the constant value, the signal would decrease in function of the time constant. The longer the time, the bigger the loss. When I want to stay below 1% signal loss, my time constant should be 100 times bigger than the sequence I want to measure. In this graph, I'd be in the cyan area. If my amplifier offers a 10 seconds time constant, I can measure up to 0.1 second and my signal loss is still below 1%. But be aware that you also have to wait again at least five times the time constant value before the next measuring sequence. Otherwise you would see the high pass characteristic and your signal might move below the zero line over time. But why do we talk about a time constant, although it's basically a high pass filter? The reason is the dimension of the numbers. A high pass filter of 10 or 100 Hertz is kind of intuitive to understand. However, at least my imagination for a few milli or even microhertz is quite limited. So in those regions, it's much more intuitive to talk about the time constant in seconds. Enjoy your measurements and see you next time.